Since 2015, the Chinese government has admittedly been buying up shares through subsidiary entities out in public view. They aren't denying it, but in general, the public is unaware simply because it's indirect. Either way, intervention is always great temporarily because it falsely gives investors confidence, but eventually, reality sets in. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we're going to look at what is going on inside of China. I've talked about this before, but now I'm going to do an entire video breaking this down. China is buying its own stocks. I haven't seen this information being put out there in the alternative news. I'm not sure why, but I'm here to bring it to you. I talk about the Swiss National Bank. I talk about the Bank of Japan. I talk about the Federal Reserve. I talk about all central banks around the world intervening directly in their own markets as well as others. And this is now a full breakdown of what's going on inside of China. I'll try to make it as quick as I possibly can. Let's begin by taking a look at this. Chinese regulators deployed a number of state-owned financial institutions known collectively as the National Team in 2015 to bolster Chinese equities after Shanghai and Shenzhen listed stocks plunged during the summer. I've talked about this before and essentially all I use is the term subsidiaries or subsidiary entities. But I'm going to break it all down. I'm going to show you exactly what's being done and you will be able to understand what's really going on. The national team consists of large institutions with hundreds of billions of renminbi, including the China Securities Finance Corporation, a fund set up by the Chinese government to promote margin lending. That's something I've talked about previously, and I've touched on this before, but I wanted an entire video to look at that. So it goes into more details of this. I'm going to show you some charts in just a second here, but it gets into some of the other uh, entities that they get into. China's national owned stock holdings are mainly held through China Securities Finance, a unit owned by the nation's sovereign wealth fund and three investment arms controlled by the foreign exchange regulator. All right, so this is all the specific details. I don't want to cover too much, but I want you to know everything you need to. All right, top policymakers created the state backed funds after the summer of 2015 to stem a market route that erased almost $5 trillion in market value. Even now, well after the stock turmoil, the funds are suspected of often investing in equities to prevent wild swings. All right, evidenced by the fact that the volatility in the Shanghai Composite still remains at historically lows. Now, I think this article was from a little while ago, but essentially we can see that they are intervening in their market directly or indirectly. Okay, so they have subsidiaries, they buy up the shares, they can buy anything they need to, and they themselves, the government, may not necessarily buy them. Just like, for example, the Federal Reserve. You don't see them buying up shares, but they may be doing so through subsidiaries. We really don't know. There's a lot of speculation on that. But we have this information related to China that they are, in fact, doing so. There's no secret. There's no hiding it. It's official. All right? And it will get into some more details if you're interested in looking at that. I want to move on. The key constituencies of the Chinese national team. So you can see this, it's broken down into these here on the left hand side, as well as the national team entities, the Chinese name, the inception date, and the A share holdings, okay, in terms of billions of renminbi. I don't think this is very big, to be honest with you, but the way I look at this is very simple. You don't need them to buy up all the shares, especially right away. In fact, that's sort of weakening it. What I look at this in the way of insurance, the government creates these entities, they step in. They don't do so on a major scale, but it is still significant, all right? 
It's like the FDIC. You know, the FDIC or the CDIC or any of these banking insurance that you may have in your country, they don't have enough money to actually save any bank. There is not enough to save one major bank, even one medium-sized bank. It's impossible. They have about 1% of deposits or less in most cases. 1% of deposits. That's it. That's all your... FDIC or equivalent has to backstop any losses. Yes, the central bank could come in, print up money, save the day. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the insurance that's there. So that's the way I look at it. You have the Chinese government coming in and saying, we are going to backstop any losses. And here is what we're willing to do. So they're in this. They own, you know, maybe a couple percent or something of the total market, something small, very small. I'm sure it's less than that. But it basically signals to the market that should there be any real downfall, decline, drastic measures will be taken and they can increase the amount that they own. That's the way I look at this. Now, if you're more interested in the actual details of all the names and everything, you could pause the video. You can look at the link in the description, but I'd like to move on. I just want to touch on a couple points because all the specifics, as far as I'm concerned, are not very important. Okay, so this just shows us here the A share holdings of the national team entities, breaking that down by the entity there on the right hand side. On our definition, the team's aggregate holdings have been quite stable over the past few years. This information is as of the second quarter of 2018. So we're looking at new info in these charts here. Just taking a look at everything that they have been putting their money into. Okay. Now all of these charts are from Goldman Sachs and you know, their reports at least are very accurate. I don't necessarily agree with the investment company themselves, but their reports are pretty good. Banks and industrials accounted for close to 40% of the national team's equity holdings as of the second quarter of 2018. So many people believe this is interesting to see that they're purchasing these instead of others. Now, this is just the one section here. I mean, this is these entities, but there, you know, there's so many different things that are going on, right? You have the central bank, you have the government itself, subsidiaries, you have foreign investors. There's there's like so many ways that we can address this. But anyway, we're looking at the breakdown here of the sectors. On the right-hand side, the national team are overweight, quote, old China sectors funded by tech and consumers. All right, now looking at that. Whether you see in the positive territory banks or in the negative territory IT, it's just interesting to see what they're doing. This could change at any moment, so I wouldn't put too much weight into it. The top 10 A shares bought and sold by the national team during the second quarter of 2018 in national terms and by ownership changes. So if you're interested, you can look through the list right here. You're seeing what they own, what they've been buying and selling. And that is important to know, not just if you invest in China, but you need to know what's going on. What is China doing? What are they up to at any moment? Why? Because they're an important country globally. And in fact, if there's any information you could learn about any country, I suggest doing so. If you could have a sit down talk with somebody who lives or lived in another country, do ask as many questions as you possibly can you'd be surprised how much you could learn from just an average person they don't need to be a specialist or some sort of you know government official or anything you can get a lot of info just from anybody ask them the questions that are appropriate for them and what they would know obviously they're not going to know all the ins and outs of everything like this Well, you can get some good intel, and I definitely recommend everybody do that. Stocks have been seen buying for the national team, have generally outperformed. So that's the 
black line being top buying in notional and it goes down here relative performance for the national team second quarter 2018 top buying and selling stocks on the right hand side although they have also fallen in absolute terms along with the market let's get real for a second here we're looking at the shanghai composite down over 20 percent that shows us the weakness but the stocks that they've been buying are the ones that are doing better than the market average and that really says a lot as far as i'm concerned so this is all i really wanted to get to today to show to you to prove to you that china is intervening in their stock markets number one they are buying up shares through subsidiaries that they have created that's number two and you need to understand what that does to the market in terms of providing insurance that's number three i hope i've made these points very clear to you in this video if i did please give me a thumbs up when you give me a thumbs up it helps to support the channel that's all you gotta do give me a thumbs up you can comment on this channel hit that subscribe button we crossed 140,000 subscriber mark and we are now on the way to 150,000. this is the fastest growing financial channel out there you can join all you got to do is hit that subscribe button i do videos every single day i break down information that is definitely not covered in the financial mainstream media but it's also not being covered in the alternative news and that's why i'm here to speak the things that are very unpopular i am the punching bag that somebody else doesn't want to be but hey it's a dirty job somebody's got to do it if you read the comments, you will find many, many, many negative comments attacking me for this or that. And as far as I'm concerned, it really doesn't matter because all that matters is the truth. If you want the truth and you've come to the right place, definitely check out all the previous videos. I've done ones about the Federal Reserve and how they intervene, about the Swiss National Bank and what they're doing to buy up shares in the U.S. market how other central banks around the world are doing the same thing and propping up the tech shares like Apple and Amazon. And you could see much more of that here at the channel. If you want the financial education you were not taught in schools, well, these two books have it all. You can take a look through them if you're interested. I cover everything from A to Z, the foundation, the history, the four asset classes, how to profit from that's all in the money GPS, and then global economic collapse fills in the blanks of everything that I didn't get to in the money GPS, talking about making money, reducing your debt, tax incentives, so much more. You can check them out at the link in the description of the video. If you're more interested in the audiobook version, you can get that at themoneygps.com.